All right, so let me let me paint the picture first. Yes, please. Oh, what had happened? Because, and then I'm gonna fill in the blanks because he don't know. So what had happened was pre-cruise. All of us had the same, well, most of us had the same pre-cruise hotel. So we landed at like eight o'clock in the morning. So we took the journey from Fort Lauderdale to Miami. So when we get to the hotel, thankfully, she had already noted that I needed an early check-in. So we went this, we went straight to our room and my cousin got their stuff put away and we were like, we're going to go do brunch. So we go and start walking the Miami streets and we ended up at this place, this place called Batch. Batch. Now, Batch is one of those spots that it's a hidden gem. The food is good, but if you catch them at brunch, you may have to crawl back to your room. Yes. So that's what had happened. We got there. The bartender was like, what do y'all want? My cousin was like, give me the bottomless mimosas. I got a margarita because somebody got to tell a story. He gets a Long Island for brunch. <laughs> and my cousin's husband got something like, I think he got a mimosa or something too. So out of all of that, he went with the Long Island. Mm -hmm. So bartender comes around and he was like, can I treat y'all to a shot? And we were like, huh? He was like, y'all vibe is good. Let, let me treat y'all to a shot. Uh. All right, so we did the shot. On vacation, let's do it. And this is pre-cruise, so we in vacation mode. So we went ahead and we did the shot, right? So after that, we were like, okay, let's go back to the hotel. By this time, the crew is starting to flow in. Pre-cruise, right? Painting the picture. Pre-cruise. Everybody get ready to flow into Miami. So one by one, we see everybody. Hey, look at that step. Hey, look at that step. Where y'all going? We're going upstairs to our room. We're going to Bacon Bit. Why don't y'all come to Bacon Bit? No, we are and ready. I'm like, yes, let's we go. Lit. Let's go. And he was like, this is what we hear. The might as well. Might as well go over there to Bacon Bit. Might as well. <laughs> and I said, no, we are already lit. Why are we going to Bacon Bit? Nobody goes to Bacon Bit to eat. You go over there to get lit. And I knew this. Bacon Bit is good, though. I, so, I love that. They, they, I, the food they, is decent, though. And they be twerking at nine o'clock in the and morning. And nine o'clock in the goddamn morning. <laughs> mind you, mind you, all of this is happening before noon. Yeah. So we ended up in an Uber XL with a whole bunch of the cousins. <laughs> and we ended up over at Bacon Bit. So we get there and then we meet the rest of the cousins. So it's about 10 to 15 of us over uh, there. Up in there yep. So, of course, you do what you do. At Bacon Bit. Now you can take it over from here and then I'm going to fill in the blanks. All right. So I had, like you said, I had two Long Islands at, at Bacon over at the Batch. Oh, you had two? I had two over okay. there. And so we did the shot. So after we did the shot, I said, hell, give me another Long Island. So I got them to give me another Long Island. All before 12 o'clock. All before 12 o'clock. So I'm drinking. So I remember I said, hey, I need to go to the bathroom. So I left. And went to the front counter and asked. I was like, uh, "Y'all bathroom is not working because they bathroom was shut down that day." And I was like, "Where is the nearest bathroom?" He was like, "Go out, hang a right, you will see the bathroom." So I went out, hung a right, and ended up in the parking deck. I was like, "This ain't the bathroom." So I looked and I saw a chili. So I said, "You know what? I know chilies will have a bathroom." So I left there, went to chilies, used the bathroom, and came back over there with them. At uh at Bacon B. And I don't remember anything else after that. <laughs> so he came back, and here's the thing: he didn't look that lit. So he came back, he paid for the tab, tipped very well, and sat there for a while. So after this time, everybody started to pay their tab and whatnot. So we were like, okay, we about to walk back out and give her a call to Uber so we could get back to the hotel. He said, Hold on. Let me go ahead and use the bathroom one more time before we go. Here's my phone and hey, Lynette, pay for the tab. Now, that should have been. <laughs> but I wasn't. A big giveaway right there. But my husband talks so much that sometimes he'll tell me the same thing over and over. So I didn't, in my mind, it was just one of those instances where he's just talking. He really didn't remember that he had paid the bill. He no. gave me the phone. So by this time, the females were like, we're going to walk over to Rainbow, see what's going on over there. That 
by that time, Stanley will be back. I said, well, I'll wait right here. The men said, well, we're not going to let you sit here by yourself. I'll stay out here with you. We're, sit we're sitting there, and we're sitting there, and we're sitting there, and we're like, wait a minute, no. he been gone too goddamn long. <laughs> so my cousin's husband was like, let me go walk to the bathroom and bring him back because I'll probably run into him on my way to the bathroom. He comes back. He said, I don't see Stanley in the bathroom. I said, wait, what? So I'm like, okay. I'm not going to panic, but I'm about to panic because one thing about my husband is he's clingy. He ain't going to be too far away from me too long. He going to be right back. He's like a cat. He coming back. <laughs> so I was like, where the hell did he go? But I know when we walked into, um, into Bayside, he was eyeballing a pair of sneakers. So I was like, maybe he went into Foot Locker and, was, and went to go get the sneaks. So that by that time, I do a little loop-de-loop -loop to be like, now I can't call him because guess who got the phone? I got, you got the phone. I got the phone. <laughs> So by this time, I walk into Rainbow and I tell the ladies, I was like, hey, if y'all don't see me, let me go take a loop-de-loop. -loop. So now I'm now I don't walk bayside up and down because one, it's too much water out here for it to be having a person missing. So by this time, now everybody is in a panic because it's been about 30 minutes at this point. And there's no style. Everybody done went to the bathrooms. That we don't even went to the female bathroom in case he don't walk up, in there. Walked up into the female bathroom. Like, we can't find this Nidro nowhere. Not the Amber Alert. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so, we're walking and we're walking. I'm finding parts of Bayside Marketplace that I ain't never seen before because we don't walk the outskirts, the inskirts. We don't end it up over there with the police cars or park. Did y'all know that they had a whole section back there with nothing but police cars? But um, we found that. Couldn't find him. So then I said, he has his Apple Watch on. Let me start tracking him through his Apple Watch. So Apple Watch is updating. It is updating and it's telling me he's here. And I'm walking and I'm walking and it says, you've arrived. There ain't no joker here. <laughs> like, where <laughs> is he? And it's like right there at Bacon B. And I'm like, he's not in here. So I walk back in <laughs> Bacon B. And I was like, have y'all seen this bald head black dude with a beard? <laughs> And the girl said, the guy that was sitting at the table with y'all? I was like, yeah, that's my husband. He's missing. She was like, oh, no. I said, yeah, yeah, oh, no. I said, can you call security? I said, because now we need to roll back footage to see where he, like, where he at. Because I'm like, and now my cousin's husband is starting to get real. He was right. like, um, maybe y'all a little bit too famous. Like, I know y'all real humble and whatnot, but y'all really are known like that. Did you think somebody might have got at him? I don't like this. Like, where no. is he? I'm like, y'all stop. I'm like, I'm over here, like, get ready to burst of the tears. I'm like, where the heck is my, like, this is not normal. So we split up one more time. So now we got other people looking. So this is where I get a phone call. Finally, this was an hour. One hour 60 freaking minutes all of our phones are i was legit. lost for an hour y'all all of our phones are legit on like 20 percent and <sighs> under because we don't tr walk try to find we tracking we trying to track each other we texting and calling each other we running our phones down and i'm like dude like what do, what do i do so my cousin calls me and she says we got them I said, huh? <laughs> she said, we got them. I said, all right. So I walked down to where they are, where they are, and he's standing on the wall like a like a lost kid. <laughs> Vic says, Lynette, <laughs> something told me to start going into stores and different places looking for him. And he said, I walked into Chili's <laughs> and he's in there sleep in between two old white women. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't even remember like going back to Chili's for the second time. I see some of y'all said I need air tags. Yeah, some of my friends said the same thing. I need to put an air tag. If on. I gotta put an air tag on him, we're divorcing. <laughs> we ain't going no more. We're divorcing at that point. <laughs> You're too much of a liability. So 
he's standing against the wall and everybody at this point, because now we're like, okay, we can laugh about it. And I'm not laughing. I am pissed. <laughs> Like we don't need the call coming from within the house. I'm all these group trips stress me the hell out because it's a lot of responsibility. I don't need the call coming from within the house. <laughs> now you don't stress me out, and now I'm ready to say this to all of it. <laughs> I'm like, you don't piss me off. So Vic is like, Ladette, please laugh. If you laugh, I can laugh. But if you don't laugh, I can't laugh. Please laugh, Lynette. And I'm like, it's not funny. It's not funny. So then we were like, let's call the Uber. Let's just get back to the hotel so I can blow the steam off. Here he go. Who is Uber? Who is Uber? Who is this person named Uber that's coming to get us? Yeah, fam. This top the Tokyo tea story. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. So we get, we get into the Uber XL, and the atmosphere is, I need to let this laugh out, and I can't because Lynette is mad. <laughs> so finally, I let out a chuckle, and it became, I know the Uber driver wanted us to get the hell out of his vehicle as soon as possible. So here, that this is when the story took an un, a, a turn that now we were the problem. All of us were the problem of why he was lost. He turns around and looks at us and say, I don't know why it was so hard for y'all not to find me. I never changed my shirt. <laughs> what? I got on the same shirt. I didn't change my shirt. Why y'all couldn't find me? Oh, Lord. I said, if you don't shut the everlasting F up right now. <laughs> Baby, the reason that he was lost is because we couldn't find him because he never changed Changed his shirt. shirt. Yeah. And that was the reason we couldn't find him because we the problem. Uh, Yeah. We the problem. There's more. Before you get the boy, I see is 371 of y'all in the house. If you have not smashed that like button since you're coming to know, make sure you smash that like button if you enjoying this live. Okay, so finally, we get back to the hotel, and I'm still lit. I do remember that. <laughs> I remember coming back to the hotel, taking all my clothes off. <laughs> He's and, going to take his clothes off. <laughs> and we both got in the bed and went to sleep. So I woke up and I look over and I don't see no Lynette. Lynette, I was like, where in the world is my queen? So I'm, I'm walking around the hotel room. I'm, I'm looking in the bathroom. I, I looked out outside the door. But the part that messed me up was I didn't see one of our bags. So I was like, wait a minute. I said, was the queen that bad that she done packed up her stuff? And then flew back to Richmond, and I'm gonna have to do this group trip all by myself. And he knew I would. So I jumped on the phone. I called her, I jumped on the phone. I said, Where you at? I said, First of all, take the <laughs> yeah, bass <I> was... <laughs> out your throat <laughs> when you talk to me. He's like, Your bag is gone. I said, Your you bag is gone. I thought, I thought she was going back to Richmond. I said, I'm downstairs with the group where your drunk ass should be. <laughs> So what had happened was with the bag, <laughs> when we were checking in, it was so much going on from that situation. We left a whole, our whole big 28 inch suitcase down in the lobby. We was getting ready to go to the room. And didn't realize and it. And didn't even realize it. <laughs> didn't realize it. So that bag made him think that I had left. And I, I said, thought well, she, I would I have. thought she was gone. I said, well... I said, I guess um, uh, GNS is going to be on me. <laughs> and that would have been a skit show. <laughs> no, I would have I pulled it together. Stanley don't do none of that. None and, of it. And me, Vic, Allen, and Dwayne could have pulled it off. A skit show. <laughs> a skit show. Y'all can't stay from being lost and knocking out teeth. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Lord. So that was the... So that became the theme of the entire trip because here's the funny thing from the time we got from Bayside to the time we uh-huh. got to the hotel, most people knew about this. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't told nobody because I was in the midst. Leaf was laughing already about me getting lost. 
Yeah, so I was like, I don't know what the heck is. I told Stella, I said, two trips in a freaking row? <laughs> two in a row? I said, bruh. I said, the one thing you know about me, my patience is this short and my tolerance is even shorter. I will shut all this shit down. Hey, but like I told you, I once was lost, I, yeah. but now I'm found. Vic found you? <laughs> yeah. In between two old white Praise women. Praise the Lord for Vic. And the bad thing about it was, I was like, why they let you sit there and do that? Though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Ain't nobody decided to tap and say, sir, you all right? Kind of world we living in. But here's the thing. Once he sobered up, he told Vic, he said, man, I thought I was sitting at the I table thought, with y'all. I, I thought I still was with them back at Bacon Beat. I was like, I don't even know how. Like, So did he ever go to the bathroom? Did he I ever use the bathroom? I don't even know. You, you didn't pee on yourself. So maybe you did use the bathroom and just came back so out and I, sat out. I'm thinking I just went back to Chili's, Chili's and just sat, sat down in the booth. So Chili's happened to be like two, door, two doors down, down from Bacon Beach, like right in that area. Yeah. So that's why the Apple Watch kept telling me I was arrived. But <laughs> I was like, he's not in Bacon Beach. Like he's not here. <laughs> yeah, this was a whole freaking food. Not third time's yeah. a charm. It ain't going to be a third time. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, my a cousin kept saying, it's not going to be a life with us TV um group cruise anymore it's gonna be a life with me tv lynette doing this shit by herself and i said and you know i will you know i will <laughs> uh we see y'all cutting up in the comments man lord have mercy i'm trying to get back up to the top so i can see what y'all so this is what i keep telling people and at home if you would catch stanley with a drink he don't have a hard day or he's going out with the fellas mm -hmm. or he'll occasionally, if I say, hey, you want a margarita? He'll say, yeah. Other than that, he doesn't do anything at home. <laughs> he nah. gets on vacation and he thinks he's a big boy. Like he thinks yeah, that I, he, I, I, I and the crazy back, thing about you know? it is he can throw them back. But I think now he's getting older and that tolerance is like, this ain't yeah. what you do. <laughs> my, my tolerance is on loss. Like I just... <laughs> I just like, I just lose track of time. I just blank out. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I got to do better. I, I, I got to no. do better on vacation. Like he, go, he's, I told you he's a zero to 100 kind of person. So if he's going to drink, he's going to drink. And you would think this is what he do. He don't do that. That's exactly, that's exactly what I do all my work. I, I get on vacation and I let my hair down. I so do. And he don't let it all the way down to his ass is bald. <laughs> No, Steven Stanley, that Stanley, uh, y'all should make some some lost Stanley shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have oh mercy. Oh my God. Lord have mercy. My cousin and them had me crying. She was like, we got back to the room and she was like, these people don't know you like I know you. Man, she, you ain't. She said, I'm scared for Stanley, man. Jay Michelle said, she man. Gonna leave him. Jay Michelle said, I need to go back to the wine coolers. I bet I do. I don't know. Yes. Maybe they might be. They, they might get me too. <laughs> but no, he think he a big boy. Everything got to be a, a Long Island or something like that. I'm like, dude, just say what you do. As little as I drink, I drink more than he do. <laughs> Josh said, ain't no way. Him slump the chili should have been the highlight video. <laughs> and here's the thing. Because it had been an hour of him being missing when he was found, nobody thought to take a video of this or nothing because we were just so relieved that he was found. Right, Q. Q said we twins. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you, you told us. Yeah, you told us that kind of happened I literally to you got too. a flash of the story <laughs> that you told me. <laughs> Yeah, Q, <gasps> Q, you need to do better too. All the world said, put put on um the shirt. If lost, please return to Lynette. No, then Lynette no. shirts to say I'm Lynette. No, <laughs> leave him where you found him. Cause <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Ooh, Zaire said we need we need to introduce Stanley to uh uh Bill W. Yeah, he might have to. <laughs> I say you act like this is what you do. Not me on the milk carton, uh Jay Michelle, not me on the milk carton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was so pissed, I didn't know what to do. I said, bruh, you know how stressful these daggone group trips are. 
And then you gonna be the you're gonna be the call from within the house. I oh. said, uh, uh-uh, you stay at home. Yeah, that's what happened to me, fam. So, uh, like I said on the carnival celebration, let this be a lesson to you. No, 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 no. Let it be a lesson to yeah, you. Oh, yeah, it's a lesson to me, but <laughs> let hey, it be a lesson to you. Uh, you make sure y'all don't get lost. How the person that's the one that's doing it is the one preaching about not doing it. Make that make sense. Yeah. Yeah, Larry, them long hours ain't no joke. And how are you doing this before 12 o'clock and then doing shots? Hey, and here's the up. thing. Here's the thing. If you've ever been to Miami, you know that they don't play about their alcohol. Nah, so they, they pour heavy. They, they pour, pour heavy. heavy. So that four long hours, well, how many did you ha- say you had at the beginning, at the end? About three? So that probably was the equivalent of six. Well, Mr. Man said, put the air tag in my beard. I'm not. 